Good morning po sa ating lahat. Happy Sunday po sa lahat po ng nanonood online. So welcome po. And uh, I hope na uh, nandun po yung excitement natin to receive the Word of God for us today. And so last Sunday, uh, just a recap. So um, napag-aralan po natin and I believe na ang bawat isa po sa atin ay tinanggap po natin that we are the representatives of God. Whether be it in our family, whether be it in our workplace or even sa mga school siguro for the case ng mga students, uh, we are the representatives of God. And as His representatives ay uh, nandun nga po yung promise ng Panginoon, nandun po yung assurance ng Panginoon that uh, every step of the way, His kindness will be upon us. Amen? And that uh, yung kindness nga po na tinanggap po natin sa Panginoon ay uh, the same kindness na uh, gusto niya pong i-share sa mga tao na nasa paligid po natin. And so, uh, as we have received this assurance that His kindness will be upon us, uh, ano pong kailangan nating gawin? So, last Sunday, ang sabi po doon is that uh, we need to move forward in faith. We continue to move forward in faith. So, in chapter 2, Joshua received uh, through the life nung dalawa pong spies na ipinadala. So, natanggap po nila yung assurance that God will give them the promised land na ipinangako ng Panginoon sa kanila. Because uh, dun nga po, according nga po dun sa report ng dalawang spies na uh, nakalap po nila kay Rahab is that uh, the people in Jericho are, are already melting in fear. Hindi pa man po sila nakakapunta sila Joshua and the Israelites sa Jericho, the people are already melting in fear before them. Kasi nga, ang sabi po doon is that uh, God had already prepared the place for them. And so, uh, ano po yung susunod na gagawin ni na Joshua? So, ito na po yung isa sa mga exciting na uh, step or next na gagawin po ng mga Israelites. So, ano po kailangan nilang gawin after receiving the assurance na ibibigay nga ng Panginoon ang promised land sa kanila. So they need to move forward and cross over the Jordan River. Because not unless they cross the Jordan River, ay hindi po sila makakapunta sa promised land and then, and then that uh, they will not be able to possess the promised land na ipinangako ng Panginoon. And to us, as 611 people, we have received that this year ay uh, the year of victories. Uh, na-receive po natin and uh, nandun po yung assurance ng Panginoon sa bawat isa sa atin that uh, we will experience uh, victories upon victories this year. And so what should we do? Ano po yung kailangan po nating gawin? So kagaya po nila Joshua, we need to move forward and cross over our Jordan rivers. I believe na bawat isa po sa atin, we have our own uh, Jordan rivers and that uh, meron din po tayong kanya-kanyang promised land na ipinangako ng Panginoon. And that uh, for us to be able to possess this promised land, we need first to cross over our Jordan River. For us to have victories upon victories, we need to fight the battle. Amen? So hindi po tayo magkakaroon ng victories kung hindi po tayo makikipaglaban. Amen? So wala naman pong bonus na victory. So kailangan po nating makipaglaban. For us to experience uh, victories. And that uh, in this process of crossing our Jordan River, we need to remember ang mga bagay na ginawa na, na po ng Panginoon sa bawat isa sa atin. And that we need to remember that our God is almighty and powerful. And that we need to fear Him. We need to have that, uh, yung sinasabi po nating fearing of the Lord is the reverence to God, the honor to God. That all throughout this crossing of our Jordan River and even possessing this promised land that He had given us, ay sa atin pong mga anak niya ay manatili po yung uh, banal na takot natin sa, pang, sa Panginoong Jesus. And that as we move forward, we should uh, uh, follow His instructions uh, step by step. And so the title of our topic for today, uh, All People Fear the Almighty God. So kagaya po nang nabanggit ko kanina, this fear na sinasabi po niya is uh, a rever reverence to God. Banal na takot sa Panginoon. And so let us read our text for today in the book of Joshua chapter 3. So basahin po natin. So in verse 1, 
Early in the morning, Joshua and all the Israelites set out from Shittim and went to the Jordan, where they camped before crossing over. After three days, the officers went throughout the camp, giving orders to the people. When you see the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord, your God, and the priests who are Levites carrying it, you are to move out from your positions and follow it. Then you will know which way to go, since you have never been this way before. But keep a distance of about a thousand yards between you and the ark. Do not go near it. Joshua told the people, Consecrate yourselves, for tomorrow the Lord will do amazing things among you. Joshua said to the priest, Take up the Ark of the Covenant and pass on ahead of the people. So they took it up and went ahead of them. And the Lord said to Joshua, Today I will begin to exalt you in the eyes of all Israel, so they may know that I am with you I wa as I was with Moses. Tell the priests who carry the Ark of the Covenant, When you reach the edge of the Jordan's water, go and stand in the river. Joshua said to the Israelites, Come here and listen to the words of the Lord your God. This is how you will know that the living God is among you and that he will certainly drive out before you the Canaanites, Hittites, Hivites, Perizzites, Girgashites, Amorites, and Jebusites. See, the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord of all, of all the earth will go into the Jordan ahead of you. Now then, choose twelve men from the tribes of Israel one from each tribe, and as soon as the priests who carry the ark of the Lord, the Lord of all the earth, set foot in the Jordan, its waters flowing downstream will be cut off and stand up in a heap. So, so when the people broke camp to cross the Jordan, the priests carrying the ark of the covenant went ahead of them. Now the Jordan is at flood stage all during harvest. Yet as soon as the priests who carried the ark reached the Jordan, and their feet touched the water's edge, the water from upstream stopped flowing. It piled up in a heap a great distance away at the town called Adam in the vicinity of Zarethan, while the water flowing down to the sea of the Arabah, the Salt Sea, was completely cut off. So the people crossed over opposite Jericho. The priests who carried the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord stood firm on dry ground in the middle of the Jordan, while all Israel passed by until the whole nation had completed the crossing on dry ground. Purihin ang Panginoon sa pagkakabasa ng kanyang buhay na salita. Let us pray. Father God in heaven, we thank you, O God, for uh, this time that you have given us, that we could once again uh, study your word. And Father, may you help us, O God, to understand and continually uh, reveal to us, O God, the deep things of your word. Father, we ask for your Holy Spirit to continually uh, fill us, O God. And may you help us, Lord, to uh, receive the, the very message na gusto mo pong matanggap ng bawat isa sa amin, O God. And Father, we pray that as we continue, Lord, this uh, study of your word, let your name and your name alone ang patuloy pong maitaas sa aming pong kalagitnaan. Father, we thank you and we bless you. And this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. So, um, all people fear the Almighty God. So, nakita po natin dito that in chapter 2 ay natanggap na po nila yung assurance na uh, ibibigay ng Panginoon ang promised land sa kanila based dun sa report ng dalawang spies. And that uh, they need to cross over the Jordan River. So, bago po nila ma-possess yung promised land is that they need to cross over the Jordan River. And I believe that uh, the same is true sa atin po. As we claim that we are the Joshua generation before we possess the promised land na ibinigay ng Panginoon sa bawat isa sa atin is that uh, we need to move forward. Kagaya nga po nang sabi ko kanina, we need to move forward and fight our battles for us to have the victory. And makikita po natin dito that in verse 1, Ang sabi po dito, early in the morning, Joshua and all the Israelites set out from Shittim and went to the Jordan where they camped before crossing over. So nakita po natin yung attitude ni Joshua and the Israelites that uh, even before, uh, hindi pa po nila alam 
kung paano nila tatawirin ang Jordan River. But then, nandun po yung kanilang faith, nandun po yung kanilang uh, obedience. They already moved forward. Pumunta na po sila dun sa uh, opposite side ng Jordan at dun na po sila nag-camp. So, in verse 2, So, after three days, the officers went throughout the camp, giving orders to the people. So, uh, yung mga officers po for three days, now imagine, if we will recall, almost three million po yung mga Israelites. Kaya naman po inabot sila ng three days uh, for them to be able to uh, convey yung instruction ng Panginoon. So, of course, nung mga time po nila, wala pa po silang mga megaphones na kagaya po sa atin na... Uh, saglit lang ay marereceive na natin yung instruction na bawal lumabas. So, uh, wala din silang mga technologies pa noon na uh, pwedeng tawagan lang sila or mag-group chat na ganito yung gagawin natin before tayo mag-cross ng Jordan. So, it took the officers three days bago po nila ma-convey yung uh, order ng Panginoon on how they will uh, cross over the Jordan River. And so, Uh, ano po yung order na tinanggap nila? So, ang sabi po in verse, ayan, verse 3, When you see the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord your God and the priests who are Levites carrying it, you are to move out from your positions and follow it. Then, you will know which way to go. So, uh, during that time, maybe yung cloud or pillar of cloud or pillar of fire na sinusundan po ng mga Israelites during that time ay wala na po. Kaya naman yung nagsilbing guide po nila na susundan nila is the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord. So, ang sabi po dun sa order, kapag nag-move yung Ark of the Covenant of the Lord na buhat po ng mga priests, ay yung mga Israelites, they need to follow it. So, yung Ark of the Covenant of the Lord, this signifies the presence of God. So, makita po natin that uh, sa buhay po ng mga Israelites, God moved ahead of them. Nakita po ba natin yon? That God moved ahead of the Israelites. So, ang gagawin po ng mga Israelites is that uh, they need to follow yung presence ng Panginoon. And the same is true sa atin pong mga buhay. For us to uh, be able to uh, cross our Jordan River, for us to be able to be victorious sa atin pong mga buhay, is that uh, we need to follow the presence of God. Hindi po natin dapat unahan ang Panginoon. Kasi pag ganun po yung ginawa natin, for sure, matatalo po tayo. So the key is that uh, we need to let God move ahead of us. And that as His children, we need to follow His presence. Susundan po natin ang presensya ng Panginoon. And that, uh, gusto ko lang pong i-take note po natin dito sa verse 4. Ang sabi po dun sa instruction, so after na mag-move ng mga priest uh, na nagbubuhat ng Ark of the Covenant of the Lord, so meron pong additional na instruction. So meron po silang distance na kailangan pong i-maintain. So, ang sabi niya dito, but keep a distance of about a thousand yards between you and the ark. Do not go near it. So, ito po yung additional na instruction. Now, ang nakalagay po dito na distance dapat ng mga Israelites dun sa ark of the covenant is about a thousand yards. So, ang one yard po, that's equivalent to 0.914 meters. So, yung 1,000 yards, that's uh, 914 meters. So, Uh, kulang-kulang na 1 kilometer. So, yun po yung uh, distance na kailangan pong i-maintain ng mga tao with uh, the Ark of the Covenant signifying yung presence ng Panginoon. Now, uh, ito po is, uh, ito pong distance na to is pwede po natin siyang uh, ihalin tulad sa uh, distance ng uh, sun, distance ng earth with the sun. So, the sun is the presence of God and the people is the earth. So, uh, yung distance po ng earth with the sun is sakto lang. Kasi pag masyado pong malapit yung earth sa sun, ano pong mangyari? So, masusunog po ang earth. Pag masyado naman po siyang malayo, mag-freeze. Okay? So, sakto lang. So, ganun din po yung uh, distance dapat nila sa Panginoon. Pag masyado pong malapit, anong mangyari sa kanila? So, a lot of accounts in the, uh, the Bible is, ang nangyari po sa kanila is namatay sila because uh, no one can stand the holiness of God. 
So, dapat hindi po masyadong malapit and hindi rin po masyadong malayo kasi hindi na po nila makikita. So, they need to maintain the distance uh, ng mga tao and with the presence of God. So, the same is true din po sa ating pong mga buhay. We need to, uh, as we follow yung presence ng Panginoon is that uh, hindi lamang po tayo susunod. But we also need to uh, maintain yung distance po natin sa Panginoon. And then in verse 5, ang sabi po dito, Joshua told the people, Consecrate yourselves for tomorrow the Lord will do amazing things among you. So that is our first point. So believe God will do wonders. Believe that God will do wonders sa atin pong mga buhay. But uh, before God can perform wonders, before God can do amazing things sa atin pong mga buhay, ang sabi po dun sa verse 5, we need to consecrate ourselves. Consecrating ourselves means uh, sanctifying ourselves. Pag sinabi po natin, uh, we need to sanctify ourselves, we need to separate ourselves from all unclean things and wholly devote ourselves to God. So, ganun po yung, yun po yung isang instruction sa mga Israelites that they need to sanctify themselves. They need to separate themselves from unclean materials or unclean things and uh, devote themselves wholly to the Lord. And I believe that the same is true for us. For us na makapag-perform po ang Panginoon ng uh, wonders, ng amazing things sa atin pong mga buhay is that uh, we need to sanctify ourselves. So sa mga panahon po natin ngayon, paano po natin i-sanctify yung ating pong mga sarili? We need to separate ourselves from the things of the world, from the desires of our flesh. So yun po yung uh, sanctification na sinasabi po ng uh, Bible sa atin uh, for today. And that this sanctification, this is uh, the requisite bago po makagawa ng wonders, bago po makagawa ng amazing things ang Panginoon sa atin pong mga buhay. So ano nga ba yung mga amazing things na ginagawa ng Panginoon or gusto niyang gawin sa atin pong mga buhay? Pag sinabi po natin amazing things, these are things na uh, hindi po natin kayang i-imagine. We cannot even imagine, no, nor I has seen, no eye has seen, no ear has heard what God had prepared for each one of us. So these are the amazing things na uh, gusto pong gawin ng bawat isa sa atin. But uh, why in the lives of a lot of Christians, uh, seldom ay hindi po nila na-experience yung wonders ng Panginoon. Hindi po nila na-experience yung amazing things na gusto pong gawin ng Panginoon sa kanila pong mga buhay. So the answer is that, yun po yung sinabi ng Panginoon, is that their vessels are not sanctified. Hindi po sila uh, na-consecrate. Uh, their lives are not separated from the world. Their uh, lives, uh, nabubuhay pa rin po sila sa uh, desire ng kanila pong flesh. Kaya naman po, kahit gustong gusto ng Panginoon to do wonders sa kanila pong mga buhay, ay hindi po niya magawa because uh, unclean pa po yung kanila pong mga vessels. And so, brothers and sisters, uh, believe that God will do wonders in our lives. Only we need to sanctify ourselves. So, uh, God will do amazing things sa atin pong mga buhay. So, ano ba yung mga typical na example ng amazing things? So, alam mo ba, nakakakain kami ng uh, three times a day. Di ba amazing? Amazing po ba yun? If we will evaluate. Actually, it's not. That's only ordinary. So, hindi pa po yun amazing. Kasi even unbelievers, nakakain po, po sila, may merienda pa nga, di ba? So, these are not amazing things. So, example po ng amazing things. So, ngayon po, nakaka-experience po tayo ng, mga pande- ng pandemic, ng crisis sa ating pong economy. Pero ikaw, nakabili ka ng lupa. Nakapagpatayo ka pa ng bahay. Di ba? Amazing. Amazing. And, uh, crisis... So, uh, konti lang yung pera ng mga tao. Pero si Globe, binigyan ka ng free na phone. ba? iPhone, latest model pa. Amazing. ba? And uh, ngayon din po is uh, crisis. Pero nakapag-save ka. ba? Nung hindi crisis, wala kang ma-save. <laughs> ba? Pero ngayon, na- na-crisis, nakapag-save ka. So, Amazing. And uh, ngayon po, nasa ECQ po tayo, tama? So, hirap na hirap po tayo sa public transport. 
Pero, bibigyan ka ni Lord nagsasakyan. Amazing, di ba? And, uh, isa pa pong amazing na nangyari is that uh, lay off dito, lay off doon, pero ikaw, pre-nomote ka, hindi lamang one step higher, three steps higher pa. O, oh, di ba? Amazing. So, these are amazing things. These are just a few of the amazing things and wonders na ginagawa ng Panginoon sa buhay ng kanya pong mga anak. And so, uh, as children of God, let us not be contented dun po sa mga ordinary things na ipinararanas ng Panginoon sa atin pong mga buhay. But we need to desire and we need to believe that as we consecrate ourselves, as we sanctify ourselves, God will do wonders. God will do amazing things sa atin pong mga buhay. For His name to be glorified sa atin pong mga buhay. Amen? Amen. And then in verse 7, so sabi po dito, And the Lord said to Joshua, Today I will begin to exalt you in the eyes of all Israel, so they may know that I am with you as I was with Moses. So makita po natin dito yung point number 2, that God upholds His chosen leader. So, si Moses or si Joshua po, rather, ay pinili po ng Panginoon na maging successor ni Moses. And that, uh, nandun po yung promise ng Panginoon na sasamahan po niya si Joshua. And then, makita po natin in this chapter that God uphold His chosen leader. God uphold Joshua. So, sinabi po ng Panginoon in verse 7, Today, I will begin to exalt you in the eyes of all Israel. And then, ang sabi po in verse 9, ang sabi po ni Joshua, so basahin natin yung uh, 7, So today I will begin to exalt you in the eyes of all Israel, so they may know that I am with you as I was with Moses. Tell the priests who carry the Ark of the Covenant, when you reach the edge of the Jordan's water, go and stand in the river. So ito po yung sinabi ng Panginoon kay Joshua. Pero makita po natin in verse 9, ang sabi po ni Joshua sa mga Israelites, Come here and listen to the words of the Lord your God. This is how you will know that the living God is among you and that He will certainly drive out before you the Canaanites, Hittites, Hivites, Perizzites, Girgashites, Amorites, and Jebusites. See, the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord of all the earth will go into the Jordan ahead of you. Now then, choose twelve men from the tribes of Israel, one from each tribe. And as soon as the priests who carry the ark of the Lord, the Lord of all the earth, set foot in the Jordan, its waters flowing downstream will be cut up and stand up in a heap. So nakita po ba natin yung uh, difference ng sinabi ng Panginoon dun sa sinabi ni Joshua sa mga Israelites? So ang sabi po ng Panginoon, as the priest will... Uh, carry, uh, na nagkikerry nung Ark of the Covenant of the Lord as they, habang ilalagay nila yung paa nila dun sa uh, Jordan, so they need to stand there. Tatayo lang po sila. Actually, hindi pa po sinabi ng Panginoon kung paano niya hahatiin yung Jordan River. But then, makita po natin dun sa statement ni Joshua na ang sinabi niya po as they stand dun sa water, kapag matatouch na po ng feet nila yung tubig is that uh, makakat off po siya and it will stand in a hip. So, um, hindi po siya kagaya ng ginawa ng Panginoon sa Red Sea. Kasi sa Red Sea is that, uh, ano yun, nagwall yung tubig, both sides. Dito po kasi sa case ng Jordan River is that flowing po kasi siya. So, yung uh, sa right side, yun lang yung nag-hip. Stand in a hip, na cut off siya dito. Okay, so mamaya aralin natin kung paano yung ginawa. Okay, so God can defy even uh, science yung uh, gravity. So, our God is really all-powerful. So, uh, gusto ko pong makita natin dito how uh, amazing uh, yung ginawa ng Panginoon through the life of uh, Joshua. So, in verse 15, so, uh, intindin po muna natin, i-analyze po muna natin kung ano yung kondisyon ng Jordan River during that time. So in verse 15, ang sabi po dito, Now the Jordan is at flood stage all during harvest. So yung river po, yung Jordan River is punong-puno po siya ng tubig. Okay, so nakakita na po ba tayo ng river? Ayan, punong-puno po siya ng tubig. So uh, flood, nasa flood stage po siya. And that uh, yung... Uh, flow po ng water is uh, malakas po siya, turbulent. 
So, ang speed daw niya, according to references, 16 km per hour. And then, yung width niya po, yung kalapad niya is uh, nasa 1.6 km. So, yung sa uh, ibang references. So, yung 1.6 km, in-approximate po namin, medyo nahirapan kami. Siguro from here to uh, yung terminal po ng Victory Liner. So, mga ganun po kalayo. 1.6 km and yung kanya pong depth is 45.7 meter. So, imagine po natin yung volume ng water na nag-stand in heap. So, kung babasahin po natin dito, ang sabi niya dito, it piled up in a heap a great distance away. So, yun po yung ginawa ng Panginoon. So, uh, makita po natin dito that uh, meron naman pong ibang way siguro na pwede silang tumawid. So, ano ba yung mga typical examples na pwede silang tumawid? So, pwede rin siguro silang maglakad sa tubig, yung parang ginawa ni Jesus. Pwede namang mag-provide si Lord ng bangka, siguro, para makatawid sila, or baka pwede silang mag-swimming lessons muna, <laughs> bago sila makatawid. Pero ang gusto ko pong makita natin dito is that because God had chosen Joshua to be the leader, ay sinuportahan po ng Panginoon yung sinabi ni Joshua that when they step their foot dun sa edge ng water, the water will be cut off and it will stand in a heap. Amen? Kaya naman, this is an encouragement to all of us na uh, kapag tayo po ay pinili ng Panginoon, uh, dapat wala po yung fear sa atin, yung doubt sa atin. Because if God had chosen us to be His leader, be it in our family, be it in our workplace, ay He will surely uphold us for His name to be glorified sa atin pong mga buhay. So, uh, gumawa po ang Panginoon, dahil po sa sinabi ni Joshua, ay gumawa po ang Panginoon ng uh, instant na invisible na dam. So, wala po tayong makikita ang dam doon. Pero gumawa ang Panginoon ng invisible na dam para suportahan po yung sinabi ni Joshua that uh, yung water, it will be cut off and it will pile up. And so today, brothers and sisters, I know na ang bawat isa sa atin ay uh, pinili ng Panginoon. So kagaya nga nung tinanggap natin last Sunday, we are the representatives of God. And so if, if we are still uh, fearful or we have that doubt, meron pa po tayong mga doubt, ay let us receive this word of God today for us. Na kagaya nga po ng ginawa ng Panginoon because the Lord had cho chosen Joshua to be the leader and that he supported si Joshua. He upheld his chosen leader. And I believe na ang Panginoon po natin, he never changes. As he had chosen you, brothers and sisters, to be a leader. He will also uphold you. He will also exalt you for His name and His name alone to be glorified sa atin pong mga buhay. So, maalala ko lang. So, uh, in this church, uh, pinili po ng Panginoon si Pastor Dan to be our leader. And that uh, my time po noon na uh, uh, na-receive po niya yung vision that uh, we need to build the church Kasi for uh, many years, I nagre-rent po ang church. So, natanggap po ni Pastor Dan that we need to build the church. And that, uh, nung mga panahon yon, so, alam po ni Ate Chris, wala po tayong fan para sa building. But, uh, nandun po na, nakita ko rin kung paano uh, sinuportahan ng, ng Panginoon yung vision na ibinigay niya po kay Pastor Dan as uh, the leader of this church. Na kahit wala po tayong fan during that time, ay nakita naman po natin na ipatayo po yung church all by the grace and favor of God. At uh, ang bawat isa po sa atin ay ginamit din ng Panginoon para uh, ma-exalt or ma-upheld the leader that God had chosen. So, uh, in the Bible, uh, marami rin po tayong makikita mga classic examples of how God uphold uh, His chosen leader. So, example for the life of Moses, for the life of David, for the life of Saul. So, these are uh, just few of the people, the chosen leaders of God na uh, talaga naman pong itinaas ng Panginoon for His name and His name alone to be glorified. So, makita po natin that in the life of these leaders, actually, they are not perfect. So, as we are, 
hindi rin po tayo perfect. We have a lot of weaknesses and we always need to remember that it's all by God's grace na pinili po tayo ng Panginoon, not because of our qualifications. Kasi kung dahil lang sa qualification po natin, actually disqualified po tayo. But it's all by God's grace na pili, pinili po tayo ng Panginoon na uh, ni-raise up po tayo ng Panginoon. And that uh, gusto ko pong makita natin that no matter how many weaknesses we are, we have, no matter how uh, incapable we may be, so long na nandun po yung uh, willingness natin to obey God and to uh, fully commit ourselves wholly to God, ay nandun po yung uh, i-equip po tayo ng Panginoon, susuportahan po tayo ng Panginoon, and God will exalt us, God will uphold us for His name to be glorified sa atin pong mga buhay. Amen? And so, uh, gusto ko lamang pong i-share of how God upheld me uh, sa akin din pong buhay. So, God had chosen me. Uh, it's all by His grace. And nakita ko din po doon how uh, God had uh, supported me, how God had equipped me for His name to be glorified sa akin pong mga buhay. So, all of you, uh, alam na po that I am a product of a broken family. So, as you can see, Hindi rin po ako ganun physically healthy. So, yan. Madami na po ako records ng natutumba. So, physically weak. I am uh, timid. And before, I am really, uh, takot po akong tumayo sa harap ng maraming tao. Kasi I really have this uh, stage fright. That even nung college, hindi pa man din ako yung tinatawag ng teacher na mag-recite. Pero nanginginig na ako. So, ganun po ako noon. And I'm not really good in uh, communicating orally kasi uh, bihira din po ako magsalita. But uh, I know that it's all by God's grace that He chose me, that He raised me up. And uh, when I offer my life wholeheartedly to God, and nandun po yung willingness ko to follow Him, it was just uh, so amazing how He'd been equipping me and supporting me and upholding me. So the Lord had been doing a lot of uh, great uh, wonders, amazing things sa aking pong buhay. And one of which is yung nga pong aking uh, opportunity to be able to uh, finish yung aking pong master's degree sa University of the Philippines na ako po ay scholar ng government. So during that time, I, uh, wala pa po akong TOR that time transcript of record, pero nag-open ang Panginoon ng uh, regular work for me sa CSU. So, as uh, a regular faculty. So, amazing, kasi anong definition natin na amazing kanina? You have never imagined. Actually, hindi ko po inimagine na ako po ay magiging teacher. So, I know it's all by God's grace and meron pong purpose ang Panginoon kung bakit uh, dun niya po ako nilagay. And that, uh, wala pa pong two months after kong ma-receive yung aking appointment as a regular faculty, ay inassign na po ako as uh, the head of the department ng agricultural engineering. So, nakita ko po dun how amazing ang Panginoon and that if He chose you as a leader, he will surely uphold you. He will surely exalt you for His name to be glorified sa iyo pong buhay. And sa ministry naman, ministry-wise, so before, uh, ako po yung mere attendee, audience, audience. So, naalala ko po yung sabi ng cell leader ko before, na ako po yung uh, cell member niya, among her cell members, ako po yung member niya na wala kang pwede ipagawa. Okay na siya na nag attend lang. Diyan lang siya. Okay. So, yun po yung description sa akin before. But I really praise God and that I know that by His grace, that He as He has chosen me na a leader, I uh, nag-open po ang Panginoon ng opportunities for me to serve Him in the church. So, ako po ay nagsiserve in the different ministries sa church. And yung isa sa pinaka-amazing na ginawa ng Panginoon is that uh, nabanggit ko po sa inyo kanina na hindi po ako magaling magsalita kasi tahimik po ako. So, takot na takot po ako sa stage. But it's really all by His grace na in din po ako ng Panginoon. At ngayon nga po ay nagagamit na po ako as one of the teachers of the church. At nandito po ako sa inyong harapan ngayon. Amen. So, it's all by His grace. And and uh, I give back all the glory to God. And uh, gusto ko pong makita natin doon that if God chose you, 
as his leader, he will surely uphold you for his name to be glorified sa atin pong mga buhay. Just like how God exalted Joshua in the sight, in the eyes of all the Israelites. So, sabi po niya doon in verse 14, that day the Lord exalted Joshua in the sight of all Israel and they revered him all the days of his life. Gusto po ba natin ng ganito? That uh, the people will revere us all the days of our life because of our God. And so, uh, let us continue. Ano pong nangyari nung after na cut off ng tubig? So, in chapter 4, i-continue po natin in chapter 4, in verse 15 to 18. Ayan. Then the Lord said to Joshua, Command the priest carrying the ark of the testimony to come up out of the Jordan. So Joshua commanded the priest, come up out of the Jordan. And the priest came up out of the river carrying the ark of the covenant of the Lord. No sooner had they set their feet on the dry ground that the waters of the Jordan returned to their place and ran at flood stage as before. So after po na nakadaan lahat ng mga Israelites, so, yung nagbubuhat po ng Ark of the Covenant of the Lord, after po niyang maitapak yung kanyang paa dun sa dry ground, immediately bumalik po yung tubig. So, nakita po natin yung, um, sa scientific term kasi yung pressure ng water. So, malakas po yung pressure ng water. And imagine natin yung ilang oras na nakahold siya, nakapile up in hip. So, after nung last na step nung priest is that bumalik agad yung tubig. So, uh, ano yun? Paano ba natin i-describe? Na-imagine nyo ba? Hindi kasi ako magaling mag-describe. So, bumalik po yung pile ng tubig and bumalik siya dun sa dati niyang uh, flood stage. So, makita po natin dun na uh, maybe some of the Israelites nandun po yung kanilang uh, fear because of uh, what they have seen. But uh, we can see there na uh, all throughout their journey, even nung hindi pa po sila nakakatawid sa Jordan River, ay prinotektahan po sila ng Panginoon. God's might had protected them para po sila makatawid sa Jordan River on dry ground. So imagine that dry ground sila tumawid. So di ba? Uh, parang sa uh, science, kung titignan mo, it will took you how many hours, even days, para lang madry yung lupa. But then, nakita natin doon how amazing and how powerful God is that uh, for His people na makadaan po sa Jordan River on dry ground, ay kaya po niyang hatiin yung tubig and uh, nag-pile up po yung water for them to be able to cross yung Jordan River on dry ground. And the same is true sa atin pong mga buhay. So kung aalalahanin po natin, it's been, I think, one year, magwa one year na po na may pandemic. But uh, nakita po natin doon that God's might is really protecting us. Uh, not only us, but even our families na kahit yung iba po sa atin, mas especially sa mga market people, ay uh, everyday po mapasok pa rin po kayo sa mga work. But nakita po natin doon that uh, wala po ni isa sa atin na na infect ng virus. Because I believe that as we continue to follow God, His might is protecting us, protecting you and me, and even our families for His name to be glorified sa atin pong mga buhay. And so let us fear not in crossing our Jordan River because God will be with us and His might will protect us. Kagaya nga po nang sabi ng Panginoon kay Joshua, Be strong and very courageous. And that we need to cross the Jordan River for us to possess the promised land na ibinigay ng Panginoon sa bawat isa sa atin. And in conclusion, in verse 23 to 24 ng chapter 4, sabi po dito, For the Lord your God dried up the Jordan before you until you had crossed over. The Lord your God did to the Jordan just what He had done to the Red Sea. When he dried it up before us until we had crossed over, he did this so that all the peoples of the earth might know that the hand of the Lord is powerful and so that your, you might always fear the Lord your God. So that we might always fear the Lord our God. So that we might 
always have that reverence to God. Kaya naman po, God had done this amazing things sa atin pong mga buhay. And so, brothers and sisters, uh, God is powerful. Wala pong, nothing is uh, too hard for our God. That even the Jordan River, because of His uh, great love sa kanya pong mga anak, ay kinat off ng Panginoon ang tubig ng Jordan River for them to be able to cross on dry ground. So God had been wanting to do wonders sa atin pong mga buhay. But only let us sanctify ourselves and allow God to move ahead of us. And ano lang po yung gagawin natin is that we need to follow God step by step. We need to follow God in faith and to move forward and follow His presence. No matter how deep and wide our Jordan rivers may be, ang sabi po ng kanta natin kanina, the love of God is higher, the love of God is wider. Amen? And the love of God is deeper. We could uh, definitely cross over these Jordan rivers that we have because God is with us. So this is the encouragement ng Panginoon sa bawat isa sa atin. Na magkakaiba man po tayo ng sitwasyon, magkakaiba man po tayo ng Jordan Rivers, but God is telling us today that we need not to cross the river alone. Because just like how God did to Joshua and the Israelites, God moved ahead of them and dried the Jordan River for them to be able to walk, to cross the river on dry ground. And I believe the same thing ay kaya pong gawin ng Panginoon in our lives. No matter how deep, no matter how wide, no matter how strong maybe yung flow ng tubig sa atin pong mga Jordan Rivers, God is assuring us that because He is with us, He will move ahead of us for us to cross the Jordan River and for us to be able to possess the promised land that He had given to each one of us. Brothers and sisters, let us continue to come before the presence of God. As we sing this song, let us uh, meditate let us continue to meditate on the words of God. And let us continue to receive the message of God. The, the, His encouragement sa bawat isa po sa atin. Hallelujah. Your love, your love 
surrounds us. You're the reason we came to encounter your love. Your love surrounds us. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Jesus. And this time, let us make this song personal. We need the presence of God. We need His presence to overflow in our lives. And that uh, God will fill our hearts with His love. Let us tell it to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Jesus. Let us make it personal. one of us because we have you we have you oh god and that because of your of your great love for us you will move ahead of us for us to be able to cross on dry ground and so father we thank you we thank you lord for this assurance and we thank you lord for this um, promise oh god that you have given us and lord today we continue to come before you, O God, and we ask that in our lives, may you continue, Lord, to sanctify us, O God. Lord, we ask for forgiveness for at times, Panginoon, na hindi po namin ma-separate ang aming pong mga buhay with the world, with our uh, fleshly desires, O God. And this is a very uh, thing, O God, that hinders us from experiencing 
amazing things from you, oh God. And so, Father, today, we offer our lives to you, God. Here we are. Lord, sanctify us with your love, oh God. Sanctify us, oh God. And Lord, we continue to, to believe, oh God, that you will do great wonders sa amin pong mga buhay for your name and your name alone to be glorified. And so, Father, we pray and we thank you, oh God, for the sanctification na yun nga pong ginawa sa bawat isa sa amin. And Father, we pray that may you help us to continually follow your presence, O God. To continually allow you, O God, to move ahead of us, O God. Even in our journey, O God, in our journey of crossing the Jordan rivers that we have, may you continually enable us and remind us always to allow you to move ahead of us. For in this, O God, surely the victory ay ibibigay mo nga po sa iyong mga anak, O God. And so, Father, we thank you. We thank you for this great reminder, O oh God, that we are serving an all-powerful and a mighty God. And that surely these promises of yours ay mangyayari nga, Panginoon. And may you help us, Lord, that whatever circumstances we may be experiencing, O oh God, may you help us that as we continually move forward in faith, to always have that fear of you, to always have that reverence of you, O God. Father, we thank you, O God. And Lord, we thank you even for today, O God, for what you have done, O God. We thank you for all the things that we have received. And Father, we pray that may you seal it, O God, with your Holy Spirit, that the enemy will not be able to snatch it, O God, from us. Lord, we thank you, O God. And Lord, we continue to speak your blessing upon our brothers and sisters, O God, na uh, nakikinig na nono God online, O God. You know their needs, O God. Father, we pray that in your mind, O God, may you continue, Lord, to uh, meet ang lahat ng kanila pong mga pangangailangan, O God. And Father, we continue to pray for your protection, O God, to be upon them, even for your provision, O God, na patuloy po nilang maranasan, O God. And in their lives, we pray that not only ordinary things ang kanila pong maranasan, O God, but starting today, they will experience great wonders. They will experience amazing things sa kanila pong mga buhay. For your name and your name alone to be glorified. Father, we thank you. We thank you for what you have done today. And we give you back all the glory, honor, and praises. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 See you po on next Sunday. God bless po.